Hi Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a few things before we get started. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, there will be an extended reading link below if this reading resonates with you. You can check it out. I do look at the next three months energy going forward from this reading. Also below how to enter my giveaway. Uh, for a free personal reading, basically, um, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment, and also details uh, below on how to contact me for a personal reading. So with that, let's get started here. I'm going to pull your cards. We have here uh, control number eight. We also have here share the love number three. And bottom of the deck here, we have Blossom, which is number 20, reduces down to two. Okay, so Aries, I feel here there is something around love that is about to blossom here too. Um, I also feel with this control card, I feel like this could be about setting boundaries. So maybe there is somebody here that uh, love is, is, you know, blooming here or you want uh, love to start here with this person. I'm also getting here too. There may be somebody who wants to express something to you, could be holding back, but let's pull your tarot before we get uh, too into those cards. So what's the energy here for Aries? What does Aries need to know? Okay, yeah, just as I suspected, somebody there, that Knight of Cups, wanting to express something to you or could be interested. This could be new love or somebody that you already know. You have the wheel. Okay, so feels like a new beginning, a new cycle here. Let's see what else we have. And okay, someone's checking you out there with the Page of Swords. All right, so there is somebody, and look at that, bottom of the deck here, you have the Three of Pentacles. There's someone I feel here who wants to get together with you. With that Page of Swords, I feel like this person is checking you out, Aries. <laughs> okay. Um, with the control card there, all right, um, I'm going to say here, there could be something about this connection with this person where you may be feeling or uh, there's no control here. Kind of get that destiny energy here with the wheel too. So this could be somebody that you're fated to meet um, or this could be someone, right, that maybe you are seeing or you know and maybe you're just not feeling control of the situation. Let's see what else comes out for you, Aries. Okay, we have the world. Wow, lots of new beginnings here, too, with the blossom. There's some sort of new cycle here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or a Leo. I also pick up Cancerian and Pisces. Could even be... Um, an air sign, an airy, I mean, uh, um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Let's see what else comes out for you. Could so, This person could even live at a distance. Now, you do have the Five of Cups, and you have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so bottom of the deck here, you do have the Six of Swords. Okay, so tr there could be distance between you and this person. Now, that could be the disappointment here. If this is someone that you know, maybe you are feeling there's not a whole lot of communication or I'm getting here too, maybe you're feeling that this person, right, maybe there's you want to hear how they feel about you and this connection. But there's something here I feel that is disappointing here. Now, um, now I'm going to say here this, I'm also getting here with this uh, Five of Cups and the Queen of Swords. This could be somebody that maybe you set some sort of boundary as I talked about before, or you cut this person off. Like, you know, you're not speaking to this person or you block this person. Okay, roles and energies can be reversed, so take it how it resonates. Let's see why that Five of Cups is here. Why is this person disappointed? Or there could be regrets. Why is the Five of Cups here? Okay, so we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, and we have Justice. Interesting. And we also have here the Seven of Wands. Okay, so I feel like um, Aries... Interesting. 
this could be somebody that you're wanting this person here to um to be more open more communication maybe you haven't received communication for this from this person um you know i sense here too maybe this is a romantic connection that really hasn't quite gone to something committed or long term yet some of you this could be someone that maybe you set that boundary with right you let this person know what you were looking for you have temperance sagittarius energy ten of pentacles and you have the justice okay so i feel for some of you this is someone who um they feel bad about something here and so i sense that this is someone who wants to uh fix things here wants a new beginning um it's interesting because there's like a hairline crack or, uh, in this heart there. And so uh, there could be, you know, maybe this person is, you know, I don't know why I'm hearing this damage control um, or this person is feeling like they messed up somehow is what I get here. Let's see what's below this. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Seven of Wands. All right, Eight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Wands. Now, I'm going to say, too, this could be you, uh, Aries. Maybe you walked away from another situation, felt very disappointed, maybe feeling like that situation wasn't the right timing, and this could be somebody new coming in, a new cycle of love for you. So let's pull some more cards and see what else uh, comes out for you. We're going to see who that Knight of Cups is, too. What else can you share with Aries? What else does Aries need to know? Okay, so we got the Nine of Swords. Someone is definitely thinking a lot about you. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the King of Cups. Got Scorpio energy there. And we have the Strength card, Leo energy. Okay. Yeah, King of Swords. Wow. Look at that. You got a couple here, King and Queen of Swords. And you got the Ace of Wands here as well. So what I'm sensing here, Aries, is there is someone, this person, um, it feels like somebody you know here, Aries. This is someone who has feelings for you, but I feel like this is someone who, um, <laughs> they're scared of expressing how they feel, okay? And I sense here that this person here, they want things to happen between the two of you, but there's something around their, you know, needing to express uh, maybe how they feel, maybe what the intentions are here between you and this person. Maybe you haven't heard from this person in a while, and this is someone who is scared to death of being vulnerable, okay? So... Could too, for some of you, could be that you've been holding back. Maybe you, like I said, uh, you could have blocked this person. Maybe you set your boundaries with this person. Let's see why this person is holding back. Why is the strength card here? Because I see them spying on you. I see them spying on you. I feel like they want to communicate with you, but it feels like they're holding back here. All right. Why is the strength card here, please? Why is the strength card here? Okay, we got the Hierophant, Taurus energy. We have Judgment. Oh, and we have the Knight of Pentacles and bottom of the deck here. We have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. It almost feels like this is someone who kind of put the brakes on things. I don't know why I'm hearing that. So it, it's almost like the two of you were seeing each other and it's like they put the brakes on things here. Like, oh, you know, hold on here. <laughs> okay. And I feel like this is around relationship here. Now, this could be around um, the past, right? Maybe there's some past healing here. This could be someone who... Also, could be wanting to gain the courage here to reach out to you, 
with some sort of message. Now you do have the Six of Pentacles, you have the Magician, and you have the Three of Pentacles. So I sense here, Aries, that this is someone who's trying to gain the courage to reach out to you, okay? So they see you as very uh, protective, guarding your heart here. Um, let's see what's on their mind. What are they worried about? What's this person worried about uh, with Aries? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups, two Nines, Three of Pentacles, okay, Four of Swords. So it feels like this person's been taking time to themselves to think about things. They're worried here, and I feel like they're worried about um, possibly here that things could be... Um, Some of you, I feel like this is someone who feels like things could be coming to an end. But for others, I feel like this is just someone who's really scared to open up, someone who's really scared to be vulnerable. And it could um, be from a past situation that they never really healed from. Now, I'm going to say for some of you, this could be someone who was married in the past. Uh, I'm going to say it could be some of you that this could be someone who is married. That's not going to be all of you, okay? I want to see who this Knight of Cups is. Who is the Knight of Cups here? What is this Knight of Cups? Okay, so we got the Eight of Swords and the Three of Cups. Okay, and the Star card here. Okay, so again, there's that element of fate, destiny. This is someone they feel stuck. They're not in touch with their feelings, their emotions. Uh, they're scared of them. I feel like this is someone who, uh, with this Three of Cups energy, they want to communicate. They want to, um, they want to be with you. But I sense here that their feelings, right, being too um, attached emotionally, they tend to pull back. Is what I'm getting here. Okay, let's see what the potential is here. What's the potential here between Aries and this person? I really feel, and this may be specific, but I really feel this is someone that you know, that you've dealt with. Uh, maybe it's somebody new you're dating or something. Like I said, like things came to a halt. You know, um, it's like it got so far and then they put the brakes on, so to speak, is what I'm getting here. So let's see what the potential is here in this connection between Aries and this person. So you have uh, the Eight of Wands. We have the Devil, Capricorn energy. We have the Ten of Wands. Oh, Justice. And we also have the Fool. Okay, Fool, Two of Wands. Okay, and the Lovers, Gemini energy. I feel like this is someone who is either struggling with communication about, you know, how they feel or you know, wanting to express, share something with you. There could be something they want to share. It could be just their feelings or emotions. I feel like they're really trying to control that. Um, I feel like they know if they don't, um, things can't blossom as the blossom card is there. Things can't really evolve. There will be no growth. I feel if this person does not do that with you. I feel like this person knows that they're going to have to take that risk here with the lovers here. Um, you know, with the lovers, you have divine feminine and divine masculine, and we all have both of those energies with us. And I sense here that this person hasn't really tapped into their divine feminine energy and they're scared of it. So I sense here this person is trying to make that decision here to take that risk, that leap of faith to be vulnerable with you. Okay, so it's interesting because you have the eight of wands, the devil, and you have the ten of wands here. And so, you know, they're really struggling here, okay? So, you know, you could be dealing with someone too who, right, maybe they got ego and fears or, you know, could be nar narcissistic type of energy. Um, could be somebody who struggles with addictions or just can be their negative thinking about the whole situation. But the last card here is the Justice, Libra Energy. I sense here, right, with the Ten of Wands and the Justice, they're going to get over it, okay? So if they've pulled back their energy or you haven't heard them, like I feel here with the Page of Swords, I sense there could be, uh, you know, some uh, poor communication or not a whole lot of communication with this person. 
Uh, I feel like if you let this person work it out, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. And um, so I do feel there's an opportunity to bring balance back to this connection, this relationship. All right. So um, Aries, with that, I'm going to take it to the extent and we're going to see how this plays out the next few months. But I sense here this person has just got their walls up just got their walls up, but I'm going to say with this nine of cups and the three of pentacles, they have hope that the two of you can come together and either work this out or, you know, um, them just overcoming, you know, their fears here about this. Okay. So I'm going to take it to the extended Aries. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel of 